And we're going to back us up to kind of fundamental theorem of calculus. I told you that that was the function y equals x cubed. And I wanted to find the area in here, say from zero to two. This, we could have done writing a Riemann sum, we could approximate the area with rectangles, kind of going back to the beginning of chapter five. And then as we worked through chapter five and got to the fundamental theorem, we had a way to rewrite, to write this as a definite integral. And we said, that if I think about our generic cross section, that shape, my generic, my arbitrary cross section here is a rectangle and the area of a rectangle, I'll back it up, the area of a rectangle is the height times the base. And our base was a little bit of dx and our height we would get from the function. So our height was f of x. In this case, f of x is x cubed. And we said that we're going to take these rectangles as far to the left as 0 and as far to the right as 2. What if instead I wanted to find this area in here? I can do the same thing that we did at the beginning of chapter five, which is I could approximate that using some rectangles. I could even write a Riemann sum, or I can look to writing it as a definite integral, thinking about fundamental theorem of calculus. So if I draw an arbitrary cross section, this arbitrary cross section is still a rectangle. So in terms of that area, I'm still gonna have a height for that rectangle times a base. I'm gonna add those up calculus style, meaning I'm gonna do a summation. The base of that rectangle is still a little bit of dx. But now the height of my rectangle doesn't come all the way down here to touch the axis. So if I'm looking for the height of this rectangle, um, if I told you that I had chosen my arbitrary cross section rectangle to be at an x value of one, could we figure out the height of this rectangle? I'm gonna make you do work. So if this rectangle is at a height of one, go ahead and type in the chat what the height would be. I got an answer from one person. Do we all trust that answer? I'm going to take that to mean, to mean yes. We're going to trust that answer. If this was at an x value of 1, then the height for y equals x cubed would be at a height of 1. And we know that the height of y equals 8 is at a height of 8. So this particular rectangle would have a height of 8 minus 1 or 7. Well, generically, I don't know what x value our arbitrary cross section is at. But I do know that I can find the height of the rectangle the same way by thinking about what's the height of the top function minus the height of the bottom function. So the height of my cross section here would look like 8 minus x cubed. And we'd be adding those up from 0 to 2. 